Hey bro, are you struggling with P? I was in the same place too, I swear. And I was able to quit it in one month. Actually, less than one month. Today, in this video, I would like to share with you five amazing techniques that I personally used to quit this addiction for good and never come back to it, okay? Because I, I break it before, I break this addiction before, but eventually it came back haunting me. But with these five techniques, especially number four especially technique number four it will help you quit p forever this video if you watch it fully it could transform your life forever today guys i want to tell you something very 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 important and this is the reason why most of you relapse the reason you relapse because you don't know what is the problem so i'm gonna tell you the problem because when i figured this out my life changed and quitting pee was like a walk in the park, okay? So what, it, what happened, what happened uh, when, when I quit porn? What, what, what actually did I do to, to quit this addiction? So before, what I used to do, <coughs> I used to uh, ask this question, how can I quit pee? And, and let me tell you, bro, you're asking the wrong question, okay? This is not the question you're ask, you should be asking. The real question you should be asking what, what is the reason I watch P, okay? Because what I realized, what made me quit P easily is realizing that P consumption is just a symptom of something much deeper within you. The real problem is not P. There is another problem that you need to solve. And if you solve this problem, your P addiction will be gone in minutes, literally. It, I was, I was like, amazed how easy it was to quit pee after I fixed this problem. So what is the problem that, that is making you watch pee like crazy and never, and never be able to quit it? What is the problem? The problem is you are living a boring lifestyle. I know it sounds harsh. I know it sounds like I'm insulting you, bro, but trust me, I was there too. You are living a life that, that is not fulfilling, okay? Brother, here's the kicker. Imagine you are living a life where you wake up from bed and you are so excited to live your life. You're so excited to go to your day-to-day -day life and live your life, enjoy your activities. And P is not even in the picture. You don't even think about it. It's not in your brain at all. Just imagine you're living a life like this. So keep watching because the techniques that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, especially number four. Number four is what made a huge difference, which, which make, made it so easy to quit pee and enjoy my life and forget about it in my life. If your life is boring and all your fun comes from watching pee, then the problem is not pee. The problem is that you are living a boring lifestyle. You fix the boring lifestyle and then you automatically quit pee. Simple as that. I want you to put together a calendar and write down all the things that you would like to do. Hiking, playing paddle with friends, or visiting a museum. This is where the magic happens. When your days are packed with exciting activities, your brain won't even have time to think about pee. Picture yourself so caught up in real life adventures that the idea of sitting in front of a screen seems completely ridiculous. When I started adding activities to my calendar, my life became a roller coaster of excitement. Craving of pee, they just faded away. And let me tell you, it felt amazing. Stick around because in a bit, I'm going to share the tip that made it so much easier to maintain quitting pee and living a life full of happiness and no anxiety and stress of this ugly, ugly, ugly addiction. Brother, if you want to shift your brain from thinking all the time about P to actually think about something meaningful that's going to help you live a better life, I want you to set real life goals, okay? What I mean by real life goals, I want you to write down on a paper what you want to achieve in your life. Let me give you an example. For example, me, I want to have a ripped body. I want to have a strong and ripped and jacked body. I'm working on it. Slowly, I'm working on it every day. And this shifts my brain from thinking about pee all the time 
to thinking about how to make my biceps bigger, how to make my abs more visible, how to make my shoulders wider, how to make my legs stronger. So my brain keeps thinking about ways on how to be stronger and more jacked. So I have no time to watch pee because of this. And the brain cannot think about two things. You cannot be addicted to pee and addicted to working out. That, that, that it doesn't work like that. You're either addicted to the good things or the bad things. You want to be addicted to the good things and working out is one of them. I'm gonna touch more about working out in the next tip, but what, I'm, what I wanna talk about now is you want to set goals. For example, my goals are, like I said, I want to work out and build a strong physique. The second thing, I want to be financially free. And I've been working on it and it's getting better and better and better every day. My bank account looks so much better than it was five years ago because I was working on it and I set goals on how much I want to make and stuff, okay? So these are real life goals that you want to set and you want to work on them. So when you set your goals, your dream body, your dream car, your dream whatever, you want to write them down and write down also the tasks that you need to do to achieve these goals, okay? So every day you finish a task that makes you closer to your goal, what happens? You, you become happier, you become more confident, confident, and more importantly, it's gonna allow you to quit the in, in no time because your brain is gonna be shifted, okay? You're gonna forget about the P because the trick is you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be working on quitting P. You shouldn't be working on something that's gonna allow you to not even think about P. Working out was one of the big things that allowed me to quit P. Now I'm looking at my body every day and thinking about how to make it look bigger and more refined. Watching my diet, being busy with healthy food and pushing myself in the gym is all part of the journey. And here's the fun part. The more, wor the more you work out, the more you will see the results in the mirror. It's addictive. It's the best way possible. I used to be very lazy about going to the gym, but getting a personal trainer changed my life for me. If you can't afford a trainer, find a workout buddy who's motivated, who's motivated as you are. Trust me, the transformation will blow your mind. And do you know what happens when you hit the gym? You start drinking more water. You start eating more meals. Before you know it, your brain and your body are gonna become in peak condition. This isn't just about quitting pee. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. And now for one, for the one tip that will completely shift yourself and the world around you, number four. Guys, this tip, it's so amazing. It's gonna change your life forever. The power of meditation and being present. I want to ask you one question. Have you ever wondered why some people are so charismatic, full of energy, and just plain magnetic? It's because they are present in the moment. They are not stuck in their heads. They are, they are fully immersed in whatever they are doing. This one's this was one of my secret weapons for quitting pee. When I started practicing being present, my life changed dramatically. My anxiety disappeared and I started living in the moment. Imagine living each day with a sense of peace and clarity that makes every experience richer and more enjoyable. Meditation was one of the best ways to develop this skill. It's like a superpower that that you only, that only, that not only helps you quit P, but it also boosts your confidence and overall happiness. The more present you are, the more you will enjoy life, and the less you will feel the need to escape into something like P. And I've got one more tip for you that will speed up your recovery, and so don't leave yet, bro. Keep watching. But before I move to the next step, I just want to add this bonus. It keeps bouncing on my brain all the time. Brother, if you're thinking about withdrawal symptoms, if you've been into NoFap and similar tension journey, you know what are withdrawal symptoms. When you, when you quit pee, your brain starts to hurt, you start to feel anxious, you're not in the mood, withdrawal symptoms, right? So this, what happened when I started being present in the moment is I completely forgot about the withdrawal symptoms. You, you don't think about them because withdrawal symptoms 
are thinking about the past or being anxious about the future. When you, when you are in the present moment, the withdrawals will go and you just enjoy the benefits. This will make it so easy to quit P. In, in two weeks, you don't even need one month. In two weeks, if you practice mindfulness and being present in the moment, you will be able to make all those withdrawals disappear in two weeks. Test it and try it. Brother, your brain needs the right nutri nutrition in order to heal in one month and come back strong and with total focus and energy and a good level of dopamine levels, okay? So what you want to do, you want to be eating the right food that, that is going to increase your dopamine levels and also your testosterone, your testosterone levels. I want to give you one amazing tip that changed my life that made it so easy for me to quit pee and also supercharge myself with the right nutrients to quickly come back fully energetic without those withdrawals, without those issues that pee gives you, okay? Because pee kills your testosterone, we all know that. It fries your dopamine levels, we all know that. So what you want to do, you want to give it the exact food that is going to supercharge your brain and your testosterone level. So I'm not gonna tell you to eat fish, to eat chicken, to eat meat. I'm not gonna tell you that. The tip I wanna give you today is only eat food that is natural, okay? So let me give you the actual tip. The actual tip is any food that has ingredients, a label with ingredients behind it, avoid it. Only eat fish, chicken, all kinds of meat that are not packaged. Only buy your meat from the butcher. Don't buy anything that is packaged and a, and a man puts label on it with the ingredients that you can read. Don't eat that food. Eat vegetables, fruits, and all the stuff that, that is not packaged. Anything that is packaged, ignore it. Coca-Cola, ignore it. Chicken in a package, ignore it. Just buy the whole thing and put it in your, in your, in your, in your damn fridge and eat it. Don't buy anything that is packaged for you. Just buy things that are raw, you know, carrots, pick them up, put it in a bag and put them in your fridge. That's it. Chicken, same thing. Only eat things that are natural. Anything that has ingredients, ignore it. If you follow this tip, brother, if you follow this tip, before you know it and you make it a habit, I want you to make this a habit, ignoring anything that is packaged and has labels on it. If you follow this tip and make it a routine, a habit, your testosterone is going to skyrocket. You're going to be full of energy and focus. You know, you're gonna become like a man. And even if you relapse, here's the good part, even if you relapse, you're gonna recharge yourself faster. Some guys, they, they could be addicted to pee, but it does not affect, affect them as other people. Why? Because they eat better food and higher quality food. Someone living in the countryside eating natural organic food will, will recover faster than someone eating processed food. You got the idea, brother. If you want your brain to heal faster from pee, I highly recommend quitting social media. When I did that, my brain became more relaxed and my day-to-day -day stress levels dropped. Think about it. No more endless scrolling, no more comparing yourself to others, watching stories of the best versions of their life, and no more dopamine burnout. Plus, you will be less exposed to the kind of images that can trigger pee cravings. Quitting social media isn't just about quitting pee, it's about reclaiming your mental clarity and peace of mind. So when you quit social media, you won't be exposed to those models that uh, give you cravings of watching pee, and you're not going to be comparing yourself to, uh, to, to other people. So these are the five tips that I really wanted to share with you today. Remember, brother, it's not about quitting pee, it's about living a fulfilling life full of excitement, full of joy, with clear goals and purpose, where your parents are proud of you, where your wife or sister is proud of you, where society is proud of you. So you want to live a meaningful life. This is the goal of quitting pee. You watching pee because you're not living a good life. And if you start living a good life, pee gonna be so easy to kick out of the equation. And I have experienced that. When I started to live a more meaningful life with acti activities, uh, joy, and more excitement, it was so easy to quit pee. 
so this is one what i want you to take away from this video so i hope this video was useful to you if it was please don't forget to share it with your friends subscribe and leave a comment and if you want to learn more about the benefits of quitting p and no fab and how it actually helps you attract women i want you to watch this video it's gonna show you what happens with women when you quit p addiction and no fab